Hey there folks, it's Zach at Feel Free to Argue, and I wanted to do a bit that was, I don't know, just a, a bit more kind of personal in nature and talking about some of the stuff that's been going on here. Um, one of the things that we've been doing is uh, trying to get together these uh, uh, big boards, they're like uh, the boards that kids use for high school science, or I guess more like grade school science projects, the big trifold ones. And uh, we've been filling these up with lots and lots of pictures of Jim's life. And uh, as background for one of them, uh, f first just a little story about the, I went to go and get some stuff from Wendy's because he was a, he was a big fan of Wendy's. Uh, and uh, so I just went in there to get like some, you know, empty cups and, uh, you know, fry containers and, you know, some paper bag with their logo on it or whatever. But there's a, a kind of a really interesting little exchange that happened there, which I thought was kind of emblematic. Um, I, I get to the counter, you know, I kind of wait for all the other people to empty out, because, you know, I don't want to really interfere with the, the business of operating the restaurant for my, you know, non-business request. Um, and so I, I, you know, wait for everybody to clear out, and, you know, the cashier, you know, looks at me, and I kind of jump in, start doing my spiel, explaining. And uh, <clears throat> she just kind of s stands there and looks at me blankly, you know. Uh, and uh, after I finish, you know, saying that, uh, she kind of looks puzzled for a second, and then she walks a few steps over to uh, apparently the manager, or, or at least you know the person in charge at the moment. And she starts to go through this, you know, whole, sh whole spiel with him. You know, there's this guy, and you know, his uh, uh, somebody just died, and they like the restaurant. <laughs> you know, she gets like two, you know, half of the way through this thing, and the guy just gives her a look like, "Well, of course you give it whatever he wants." <laughs> but I thought it was very emblematic of how the way businesses are structured, it just kind of beats the humanity out of us, beats the ability to think out of us, you know, that we become these mindless cogs in the machine that are just totally incapable of thinking and feeling for ourselves. Um, I, I thought it was interesting, because it wasn't, it wasn't really anger in, 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 in kind of the, the manager's, the way he was looking at her, it was just kind of a base level disappointment. <laughs> Of course you give it whatever you want. And he was very generous. That's the other point I kind of wanted to talk about is doing this process. And it's just, it's interesting that the power that, that that death has to just kind of really transform people and how, how kind of generous they are. I mean, I'm thinking not just of like, you know, the various restaurants we've gone to that, uh, you know, Jim patronized with my sister and, you know, just how they're, one of the places they just gave, gave her a t-shirt, you know, for the place. I know these things don't cost them a lot of money, but I'm, I've still been just kind of impressed by, you know, people's generosity in, in the face of tragedy. And also the way that, you know, the little community she has in this little development that she lives in, uh, you know, how they've really rallied to support her. I mean, when I was here before, you know, when Jim was alive, I mean, people were dropping by and, you know, bringing us dinner I mean, and, and brownies. <laughs> so many brownies. I, there, there must be some kind of Ohio lore that I missed here where they all think that brownies cure cancer because we got so many brownies. It was okay. I mean, I love brownies. I don't love me. I think I came to about you know, 10 pounds from eating these brownies. Jim was too sick to eat them at that point, so oh, I had to break down and eat them for him. <laughs> um, but anyway, I, it, it's been kind of an interesting process, full of uh, you know insight, insights into the human condition, and also kind of in, in more of a positive vein than uh, you know, certainly some of the things we've been seeing in the upper levels of government these days. Rather depressing stuff. And I was also reading this article in the New York Times about how all these tent cities are popping up all over the place, you know. 
sort of like the new Hoovervilles. But it's not a depression. Anyway, I don't have a lot of commentary for this evening. I have been thinking about a lot of things, but uh, more a lot of it's been just kind of percolating under the surface, and some of these ideas are not quite ready for prime time yet, though. I've been thinking a lot about stuff, but I'm not keeping busy. A lot of little tasks to run, lots of preparations, trying to get ready for this uh, uh, memorial service wake. It's more like a wake than anything else, I guess. They've got some wonderful ideas. Maybe I'll mention those in a future video, but I think I really... It's about one in the morning. I think it's time for me to try to get some sleep. Anyway, this is Zach Elliott, and uh, you can always feel free to argue, but I don't think I give you much to argue with in this one. Uh, <laughs> feel free to argue anyway, even if it's pointless.